This video illustrates how to create a projectile with a drag force. First, we'll create a model of the projectile. It'll be a ball. It'll be specified in the XML file. After we do that, I'll open a template Mujoko Pi file, edit it to include initial position and velocity using data.qpose and data.qwell. Then we'll launch the projectile and then we'll start adding drag force. The drag force in this case is going to be a quadratic drag. It can be added in two ways. One is using QFRC applied. Another way is using XFRC applied. I'll show you both ways of applying the drag force. Okay, here I'm going to take the hello.xml example, make a copy. Uh, I'll rename that to ball.xml. I'll open the Mujoko executable. Let me drag drop the, the ball.xml. And I see the familiar site of a box being dropped on a red plane. So let's start editing this XML file. First thing I'll do is I will uh, change the color of the plane. Let's make it uh, something darker, sort of gray. And then to check if it really uh, works, you can just do reload and you see the plane has turned to gray. Okay. Now I don't want a box, I want a sphere. So I'll specify a sphere. And the sphere has only one attribute, which is the radius. Let's keep that point one which specifies the radius of the sphere. And then let's say I want to make it red. Okay, and then I'll uh, reload. And then you see the ball being drawn. Now I can also specify a mass to the sphere, which you can do by putting it in the jump. Mass equals one. Okay, and then uh, if you want to test it out, you can just uh, reload. Okay, now that we have created this XML, let's move on to coding it in the Pi file. So I'll close this, exe this executable. I'll create a copy of the template Mujoko Pi file. Uh, let's name it uh, projectile. Open it. The first thing we do, is we try to edit the camera view so that we can view the ball as it is simulated. So change this to ball.xml, change the simulation time to 100, make this print configuration one, run this file using either the shortcut or go by going to packages, script, run script. So here's the ball dropped, I'm going to Use the cursor on the mouse to change the view as I want it to be. This looks good enough, so I can close this. Uh, if you if you set this flag to one, then it will actually print the view here. So copy that, and then navigate to the Pi file and find where there is cam dot azimuth. It'll be a comment. It's right here, so you can copy paste it right here. And then now if you uh, run this, you can see that uh, we have the view which we had set it to. So let's go back and change this back to zero and this to 10 seconds. Okay, now that we have got the camera view, let's modify the file. Just set a initial position and velocity to the ball. So for that, I go right near uh, this while loop and I set the position here. So to set the initial position, I need to use the Q pose. This is the X position. Uh, so in this case, the X position is set zero. And then the Y position, or sorry, the Z position is two. The Y position is Q pose one. Uh, the Y position, I need to set it equal to the radius of the sphere. Otherwise there'll be a self collision. So I set it to point one. And let's run this. So you see it's resting there. That's because there was no initial velocity. Now we can inject some initial velocity. Let's set the X velocity. So that I do that by doing theta dot Q value zero equals 0.5. Then you see it's moving. Now let's set the Z velocity. Uh, let's set it to some, let's say two. And then run this. Then you see it just a uh, hop and move. Okay, now that we've set the initial velocity, we now need to set the drag force. And there are two ways to drag that. Let's do them one by one. 
if you open the Mujoko API reference or to MJ data, there you will see that there are uh, there is this QFRC applied and XFRC applied. QFRC applied applies a generalized force. And if you scroll here, you see that the dimensions is NV cross one, NV being the number of degrees of freedom. So for a free join, there are uh, six degrees of freedom, three for translation, three for rotation. In this case, I need to apply a force along the X, Y, Z, and it is number translation, then rotation. So I need to apply X, FRC applied zero, one, and two in order to apply the track force. So let's see how to do that. So we go to init the controller. We comment our pass and our force is going to be something like this. Uh, force is a vector. So C times Vx times norm of B. And same thing for, so this is in the I or X, uh, I, which it represents in this case, the unit vector along the X axis. J. And then two. Yes, that's what I want to do. So what I do is first I pluck out the velocity in the x, y, z direction. I can get that by the following command: vx equals data dot u well zero, vy equals data dot u well one, vz was data dot q well two that's the velocity i need the norm so i do v equals uh here i need to take the square root so i actually import numpy np as np and then i'm going to do np dot sqrt vx square plus vy square plus vz square okay. now that i have these uh, velocities let me define my constant. Let's put a small number, 0.1. And uh, let's now set the QFRC applied. Applied zero equals minus C times Vx times V. Okay, C Vx times V. And I do need to do that for the other dimension, zero, one, two. Y, Z, okay. and now we can run this. Okay, there seems to be a negligible effect. Let's just go 0.25. Okay. So to see an effect, what I need to do is actually, since the uh, drag force is proportional velocity, incorporating a higher drag force will show the effect of this. I'm gonna increase this velocity to two and the x velocity and this may be to five and now let's run this okay now this is hard to see so let's me zoom out and so i can again go to print camera config and change it but i can also maybe guess so i go to over here uh, i need to change this from being too close to too far a little bit far away so let's make this five and now run this that's a better view. If you want to increase the plane, you go to ball.xml and then change this to let's say five by five. And now if you run this, uh, the plane is slightly bigger. Okay, so let's change this to 10 and then see if that's better. This looks really good. Okay, so here's how we can check if the track force did anything. Let's put the track force equal zero. We we'll run this. And then you see the projectile trajectory. If you now increase it to 0.5, you can see it's slowed down. So the track force is doing something. Okay, now I'm going to show you another way of adding the same track force. Uh, again, open the, the reference, the API reference. Uh, this one uses XFRC applied. Here you apply a Cartesian force torque and it's end body across six. Now, 
in this case there are two bodies the first body is always the world body the second body is the sphere so it's going to be the force applied to the second body for each body you can apply six forces three translation three rotations since i'm interested in only applying translation forces i'll have to use the index 0 1 2 so this is how you apply the same force using XFRC applied. So you don't need this, we'll comment it out. And then you apply it this fashion. You have applied first body, sorry, the second body, which is indexed as one because the zeroth body is the wall frame. So I can do nothing equals this step. And then we can just copy this and then change the index one, two. So if this works the same way, then you'll see no change in the simulation. So it looks the same. So here you can play with the velocity and the drag force to make something look realistic. 